Hey guys, I hope this video finds you safe and well. So a while ago, I did a get ready with me video when I was at VidCon and you guys loved it. Thank you. I love doing it. And um, you guys have been asking me for another one. So a lot of us are working from home and this is how I get ready for a day of Zoom meetings. <laughs> so I'm going to show you some little tips and tricks that I do to get ready quickly and I hope you guys like it. Okay, cool, here we go. So I just did a mild workout. I just went for a little walk, so my hair is not too sweaty, which is good. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet my hairline, blow it out so this looks all nice and smooth. Because if you have a nice hairline, I, it really does kind of change everything and make you look put together. So I'm just gonna like wet the hairline part. My hair takes a really long time to dry. So especially if I'm working out and I'm just like a little sweaty around my hairline, I put my hair in a shower cap. So we got my <laughs> trusty shower cap, you know, put my hair up in a shower cap, shower, and then I just handle the little hairline and nape area. So this is a little trick from all the pro uh, hairstylists I've worked with over the years. You put your brush in, you grip it and twist it like that. So you put it in, grip, and then flip, and then you pull straight down as you have the hair dryer on there and it totally smooths it out. Okay, we're gonna do both sides. So for the top bang part, you wanna find your part. I still have my, <laughs> I still have my bangs. They're actually growing out really quickly, but you wanna find your part wherever that is. And then when you grip it with your brush, you wanna grip it like that, do the twist, and then again, pull straight down. See, it just kind of flattens it and makes it really smooth. It's all about the wrist action. <laughs> okay, so my hairline is dry. So now if you if you have anything under here that you use, <laughs> that's amazing. That just happened. Okay, great. So hopefully my camera doesn't fall off this thing again and fall into my coffee because I need this. My hair is dry. Now I'm going to put a little bit of oil in it. There's so many things that I love that get discontinued. This is this oil that for a while was discontinued, but I think it's actually, I think you couldn't find it again now, but I like basically got all the ones that I could. Whatever oil you use in your hair, great. This is this one called Taboli that I found. And it just, with my hair, it just works really well. If I was starting from scratch and like my hair was totally wet from the shower and I was doing it, um, I was blow drying my entire head of hair, I would actually put oil on each layer as I go. But because I'm just kind of like doing some quick touch-ups, I just put it in all at once, just not too much. I also like when my hair is a little dirty. I think that it responds better. So now what I'm going to do is just go over like my main layers with a straightener. So again, my bangs are really growing out, but I showed you guys this before, but you basically take whatever brush you're using. And when I'm doing a quick get ready with me, I just hit the key sections, hairline, nape of the neck. If your hairline looks great and then down here is all like crazy, a little bit of a giveaway there. So you want to have it all nice and smooth around here and under here. So let's do the hairline. So another little trick of the trade is to go like that with a brush and then pull it straight through down all the way to the end. And it just makes it really smooth and straight. See, looking pretty good. So that was like, what, like a minute? And this side of my hairline is done, so that's great. So now let's do the other side. So I usually do a top section here. I love how I'm like looking in my phone as if it's my, my mirror. I haven't done a video like this before in terms of using one of these little thingies that sticks on the back of your phone, so. This thing's brand new, and obviously I don't know how to use it that well because my phone just fell off. So now down here, you just want to make sure any little, see how like that looks a little funky? So you want to just hit that with the iron and smooth it out. 
See already, that looks so much nicer, you know, and I already look more put together, that's good. And then literally, if you just do the sides, like the sides down here, and just make sure those are all smooth, the back doesn't matter, because no one's gonna see that on my Zoom meetings. <laughs> you know what I mean? Also, my hair is basically done. With my bangs growing out, I usually kind of clip them over to the side, but at least it's smooth and dry and it looks put together. So let's do some makeup. So I don't do, when I have my Zoom meetings all day, I don't do a full, um, like a full makeup thing. I just do some very basic key things that totally make you look put together. So first you wanna reapply just a little bit of moisturizer. So make sure you're all nice and dewy especially under your eye. I also have two young children, so anything that makes my eyes look better, I'm all about, because there's not a lot of sleep going on. Okay, so, <clears throat> moisturized hands. It's cold outside, so. Here we go, so I'm not gonna do a full thing of like foundation, but I am going to do some little spot treatment. So I always, I have my thicker one, right? And then I have a little thinner one. Whatever you guys use, like whatever concealer you use. So this is like my little makeup palette. Another little trick that makeup, makeup artists have taught me over the years. This is your palette. Basically this section of your hand and this section on your wrist. So this is my little palette. I mix it there. And then you just start doing a little touch up. So I'm going to cover up the things that make me look tired because I'm not sleeping that much because I have two young children. And especially my baby is, we're just getting into having him sleep through the night. So this you just wanna like spot treat over dark spots under your eyes, any kind of things over your eyes, any kind of little blemishes, I just spot treat. I always do under the eyes, over the eyes, in the nostrils and my chin. That, no matter what, I always do because that immediately makes it look like you're more put together. Those are just the areas that you want to make sure you hit. I tend to get a lot of redness here and here and then under my eyes and over my eyes. I love my, working with my fingers because also the warmth of your fingers really help kind of mold the makeup in there where you want it. And you can also really control it. Like I've always learned to use my hands with, you know, pretty much everything, especially with something like this, because with the, the warmth of your hand, you can really kind of work the makeup into your skin. So that's it for my concealer. We're gonna do a little bit of powder. So again, I just do a little bit over the areas. On the other areas of my face, I just do a little dab just to get rid of the shine the lighting is a little wacky but you know you can kind of see that it's it's covered for the most part and if you guys are actually sleeping this is going to work a lot better for you <laughs> so the next thing you want to do is you always want to contour contour is your friend so if i was doing my full face of um Makeup, I would use my cream contour and I would put it in and blend it like I showed you in the last video. When I'm doing a quick thing, I just have a little bronzer powder and a brush and I do the line down. You know, you wanna go under your cheekbone, your jawline, sides of your nose. And you wanna do a little bit on each side of your forehead. And that's it for the contour. So it contours your cheekbones, gives you a little jawline contour. Okay, great. So that's it for the contour. Now, I'm naturally, especially in the winter, like my cheeks get really flush. So we didn't put any concealer or anything over my cheeks. So when I'm just doing this kind of touch up, this like quick get ready with me, I only use my bronzer. I actually don't put any blush on. If you guys don't tend to have that, like if you guys don't tend to flush and stuff, then add a little bit of blush too. Another thing that makes you look really put together is when your eyebrows are defined. Like if I'm really getting ready in like two minutes, I'll curl my lashes, I'll fill in my eyebrows and then put in a little bit of, put on a little bit of lipstick. Just adding a little definition and see, it's like, 
it just makes such a difference. Immediately it like lifts your eye, it makes you look more put together, and that took about 10 seconds. This isn't like a fully defined thing. This is just filling in and giving a little bit of definition. That's it. And now you always want to, I use these little mascara brushes. You can get them, they're super cheap and you can buy them in like a big bundle. I use these for a lot of stuff. And then you just wanna always, after you fill in your brows, you always wanna brush through so that it looks natural. So cool, see that makes a really big difference. Find like a, your basic color, like one color that I really love. I have this little makeup palette that I've had for a while, but this pink color, it looks really natural on my eye. I also have this other awesome palette with some really great, just basic browns. So a light brown could be good for your skin color. It's whatever goes with your skin that looks like natural. This pink one tends to work well on mine. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do just a little thing like that. And then in the corner, is a trick I learned a while ago from a makeup artist, and now I do it all the time. It makes such a difference. When you do the swoopy like that, if you just do up and down in the corner, it brings the whole thing up. It's like the one of the better makeup tricks I've learned over my years of being in my business. But so you do swoopy, 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 and in the corner, up and down like that, and then immediately opens up. If it's the colors too dark, it's not really gonna work very well. So you wanna use a color that's just a nice definition and then that's it. So immediately it opens up your eyes and makes you look more awake. Now what I'm gonna do is curl my lashes, corner curler, I'm obsessed with this thing. You can buy them on Amazon. But I curl my lashes with my, this is my Shoot Umira eyelash curler. It's the best eyelash curler I've ever found. I've used many eyelash curlers in the Shoe Mirror one for some reason, and everybody swears by these. They're, they're the best, in my opinion. So you go to the base, clamp, clamp down, pull out slightly to get that curl, and then you just kind of crimp out to the end. And you want to crimp out to the end so it's got this nice smooth curl. When you see lashes that are like, think, like straight up, it's because they didn't crimp out to the end. You know how you get these like silly questions of like, if you were stranded on a desert island, what's the, like the one piece of makeup equipment you'd have with you or whatever? Eyelash curler, hands down. I'm gonna curl the corners because with the way my lashes are, they grow like down and out. <laughs> so I have to really curl them up and also crimp the corners. Seriously, it makes a really big difference. With your eyes, it might be that the eyelash curler does it, but mine, it doesn't. So I have to get into the corner and with the crimping the corner, it's one of those little tricks. It makes a big difference. Now I'm gonna do not too much mascara. I mean, I, I don't like expensive mascara because I feel like it's really heavy and weighs down my lashes. And we just did all this work of like crimping them and doing the corner and whatever. So I actually really like cheap mascara. This is Maybelline Lash Discovery. I find that cheap mascara is lighter and it doesn't weigh down your eyelashes. And whenever I've tried these like fancy designer ones, they always run and they always make my eyelashes flop down. So that's done. And you always wanna do just like one little one on the bottom. So once your mascara is dry, this is a cool little trick. So I'm all about a dark line along my lashes and a little flip because it always just lifts your eye, opens it up. And when I'm doing Zoom meetings, I've noticed that the two things that make it look like I put a little work into my appearance is a little bit of lipstick and that defined lash line. It looks really good <laughs> when you're doing your Zoom meetings. You know, usually I start with doing a line on the bottom, a line on the top, and then I do the whole thing. So I showed you guys that on the last video. This video, my quick get ready with me, Curl my lashes, mascara, once it dries, you just do a thin line of this on the top. Whatever kind of liquid liner you use, make sure it's not too wet because then your lashes will flop down. The reason I do it after I put my mascara on is because if I put this on, then curl my lashes, then do the mascara, I have to then reapply this. And because this is my quick thing of getting ready, I do this after. So now what I'm gonna do is just do a gentle line above you know, you have to concentrate when you're doing this, but 
Um, well, my Zoom meetings today, I'm working on a project that I'm really excited to tell you guys about. And when the time comes, which is going to be soon, which I'm really excited about, I can tell you all about it. Okay, great. So there we go. So this eye, cool, natural, whatever. But then this one is a little, just a little touch of glam. Now I'm going to do the other eye and you guys will see what's up. These are also little tricks. Like you want to get close to the lash as possible. And then we're just going to add a little wing there. Just a little one. So that looks nice and not like too over the top. Okay, so now we're just going to add some lips and we're done. So I, I usually use kind of a, a muted pink color. This, I know this looks crazy and like hot pink, but what I do is I put it on. Use your finger again. I use my fingers for everything here. You look nice, put together. A little bit of my chapstick. So that is my quick get ready with me. Um, I'm going to show you guys. So, you know, all the, the darkness is covered, blemishes are covered, eyeliner makes your eyes pop, get the mascara, a little bit of lip. You don't look overdone, but you look put together for your day. So awesome. I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when I put up another one and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for getting ready with me.